a lot of people are concerned about the feds cutting basis points uh bps i'm i'm more concerned about the level of inflation you know inflation is at two percent that's the normal level of the united states and how they run the inflation it was raised in the 80s i'm concerned with them not cutting basis points or cutting 25 and under but raising the inflation target to like five percent because you know it's a mathematical problem it's a mathematical thing that is being done with the feds and they're playing a mathematical game so if they came in with uh with cutting 50 basis points it would kind of offset the market it would it would kind of put everything back in perspective but it will lead to fears and and, and problems and then you know we change in presidential election this is, this is not a smart deal i don't care if people don't believe that politics have something to do with this it has a lot to play in this situation so with that all that being done i don't believe joe Biden was a part of the 2008 uh, financial crisis when he was with barack obama and he watched how that that happened he was a part of that i really don't believe that joe Biden, since he's not campaign he's not doing nothing he's focused on his end term of presidency i don't believe that he's going to let this country or uh the stock market or this country fell at this point it will be too many talking points for donald trump i know people don't believe that this thing is p political but it is it is J jerome powell has a lot of political uh pressure on him did, did not make not offset the markets even though it might be a right thing to do, but not offset the markets and make anything do, make anything go crazy two months before election, a new president is about to set in. Well, you know that Trump says that he's going to fire Jerome Powell. Like, you know what I mean? So you understand that the sentiment of what's going on inside this situation and how they're going to move. With that being said, I'm just afraid that the feds is going to have a new inflation target. And what that would do is that would things will continue to keep raising prices will continue to keep going up if the feds put the inflation target at five but cut 20 basis points or 25 basis points that's everybody's going to be happy the stock market going to grow you're going to start seeing things go up things go and everything's going to get crazy on the 18th everything's going to be oh man it's going to be like a new but there's an underlying problem with that i don't believe that they can they can keep rates at 25 and keep for late, uh, the the inflation uh, the inflation in the economy at 2%. I don't believe that that's going to be able to be able to keep. I don't even think that it's going to be it's going to work now. So again, again, be very uh uh I don't think I, I'm not going to use the word very. Be, very is a show of low vocabulary, even though I have a low vocabulary. But listen, be be uh, know how important it is to check the inflation rate after the feds do this thing. Know how important it is. See if the inflation rate is uh, below two percent. You know what I mean? See if the uh, inflation rate is going to be if is, is it below below two percent, and then. It's not going to be. They're going to put the inflation rate at 5%. But understand what that 5% inflation rate is going to be at.